Hello Aries and welcome back to my channel Luma Moon Tarot. So Aries, I am here to do um, just a quick peek into your April. Okay, this reading is for the collective so it may or may not resonate with you. Just take what does resonate, toss out the rest. You know the drill, right? And um, thank you Aries so so much for your likes, subscribes, comments, shares, donations everything that you guys do that helps this channel keep growing thank you so so much for your support man um all right divine what do you have for aries in april okay <laughs> all right oh oh boy we walked away from you yeah now they went on. okay they're watching you. Okay, so what I'm seeing here is someone who's going to be um, in the uh, like on the defense here, um, feeling very defensive in April. I feel like this is a masculine energy somehow in your energy. Okay, uh, this is somebody who they know they're going to have to defend themselves. I feel like they're getting ready to come forward here. They walked away from you in the past. Now they're they're reliving that. Um, they're they're rethinking about it here. They they kept you stuck and trapped in your mind for a really long time when they walked away and they were really smug about it. Yeah, they're gonna have to defend themselves against. All, look, they underestimated you. They thought you were gonna have nothing. They thought you had nothing to bring to the table. They. I feel like this person, as smug as they were, look, they saw you in peasant clothing here, Aries. They, they thought you were always going to be struggling. And I feel like this person just, I mean, you were, you were good enough to toy with, okay? You were good enough to play with and keep stuck trapped in your mind. But this person didn't want to make a move towards you because they thought you were impoverished. Okay, they thought you were always going to have financial struggles. Um, and they sat here while you were stuck and trapped in your mind. They just, they left you, they abandoned you, they ghosted you. I feel like they just up and left. And they went and sat on it. Look at, while, while they smiled, lived their life, and maybe even this could have been an over drinker. They just kept you trapped. This person didn't really care. Now they're trying to defend themselves. I feel like maybe other people's opinions are coming at them about the way that they treated you, to be honest. And, uh, they, yeah, they've been in a decision that they've had to make between two, um, you and somebody else. I feel like this person chose somebody else. And they, their life just kind of went down the tubes. Feel like they, they uh, yeah, they, they chose to hold on to someone else and they followed this person right out into the cold. They could be having some poor health now. Now they're feeling like they need to come and defend themselves because I feel like they know they made a bad choice here and they were really smug about it. They were really, really bad. I don't like this energy, I have to say. Yeah, and they just allowed you to be stuck. Like, I can see them smiling and laughing. They may do this with a lot of other people. You know? I feel like you're good enough to, you know, play games with, but you, but people aren't good enough to keep. I feel like they, this person wanted somebody who... Um, was fine, you know, had more financial, like had more pentacles. They wanted somebody who maybe looked fancier. This is somebody who is kind of a creep, I got to say. This is a creep. I don't like how they just sit here while, uh, you know, they put other, well, they're putting love on a shelf and smiling about it. While they keep you trapped and stuck because they thought you were nothing. And look, you ended up being the empress. You're the empress. And they played you. Truth. They played you. They played an empress. I feel like they played a lot of people, though. 
I feel like this person played a lot of people. Maybe some of those, that that's these opinions maybe coming at them. You know, people aren't putting up with it anymore. I feel like people have something to say about it. Yeah, this person played an empress. They really didn't. They, they thought you weren't going to have much to bring to the table. They thought you were always going to be in peasant clothing, struggling for money. You know, they didn't want to deal with that. They just wanted to move on to the next couple of from someone else. And they left you here ghosted, abandoned, with no answers. Look, I feel like this arrogance... I feel like they, they wanted something sparkly. This person wanted something that twinkled. Here, you at the time, you did not twinkle. <laughs> at the time, you were freaking working really hard on building yourself back up. Okay, but they wanted the fancy schmancy stuff. I just did a reading about this the other day. And even, like I said before, even the Sphinx is looking back at this guy like, really? You're going to choose this cold, harsh person over this person who's going to turn out to be an empress? Are you kidding? I mean, you know, but this person, I feel they were in their arrogance, their ego, and they just... They wanted the fanciest, flashiest cars. They wanted the fanciest, flashiest person that they could have on their arm. You know, somebody who sparkled. And you were just a hard worker, man. You worked hard and you went to work every day in these clothes. You didn't give a crap. You had to get stuff done. And you put forth all this effort into yourself. Now you're the empress, man. You beat out everybody now. You do. That no one can hold a candle to the empress. There, no, there is no one who can compare with that. So, you know, this person went after money and flashy things and material things. And they turned their back on so many cups of love from other people just to chase sparkles. That's it. They wanted glitter, okay? They wanted, they wanted glittery, shiny things. Well, you worked so hard to build yourself up, and now no one holds a candle to you. This person played themselves when they played you. They played themselves. And, you know, I feel like that's something that this person did. People would give them this cup of love, and they would just walk away, ghost it. It looks like this person's leaving in a hurry, ghosting that cup of love. Only to go and sit and let let these people who offered them that love, let them just stand and, and be trapped in their mind about it, crying, sad. It's terrible with, with what these people are putting people through. And it's time for it to stop. And I feel like that's the whole point of you working, right? struggling only to come up this person no they didn't see your potential all they wanted to see were things that sparkled they didn't see the true potential in the couple love that you gave them and they know now that when they played this empress here they played you yeah look they're being shown this lesson and you could have been this person's twin flame that they juggled when they should have been coming to you to talk. They juggled you. Look, Nine of Pentacles. Now, now, this person could be low on their finances, right? Now, they underestimated you so bad, thought you were nothing. I'm telling you, this is the only card that flips into the Empress and the Minor Arcana, which is right here. It just came out. So they thought you would always be struggling. Now you have the most pentacles you can really have in the deck. You, you've got nine here just for you. The only thing you don't have is the right soulmate kind of offer from the right person that's going to stick, that's going to stay with you. The, that's the only thing you don't have is a commitment with someone else. That's it. You've got everything else that you need here. You are your 
one of the most, besides the Empress, you're the most financially stable person in the deck. And both of these are out for you. So yeah, and you, you're divinely led, and you're intuitive. Yeah, this person can see what all is going on. They're being shown. That was the whole point, right? Putting you out here, you know, they, they underestimated you. Well, I, I have to say, let them, because they learned their lesson hardcore in the end. And honestly, it, it looks to me like you're the one out here having a victory. And you're showing, you're showing other people what the divine can do in your life. Okay, this is kind of like a rags to riches kind of story. But you worked for it. You earned this. You learned your lessons. And now your person is being taught a huge one. All that glitters is not gold, baby. All that glitters is not gold. You got the gold. And this is something that you can keep building. This is something you have learned to put in hard work for. Okay? Yeah, they're being shown. All that glitters is not gold. They, they played themselves when they played you. Now they want to come and apologize. Yep, now they want to come and apologize, but um, I'm still feeling that, uh, you know, like they're going to apologize, but they're going to have a smirk on their face because they're still in that ego. They're still having to sit here and learn their lessons. And I don't think that... Um, I don't think they've fully learned it yet. I feel off of this page of cups that they're a bit jealous. Okay? They don't like to admit that they were wrong. But they were. And they know it. Yeah, they played themselves when they played you, man. I'm telling you. Yeah. They see everything now from a whole new perspective. All the backstabbing they did. All of the betrayals that they did to you, the way they treated other people, I'm telling you, they see it now. They see how they it got them all tied up here to a freaking tree. They see it while you got to move forward and work on yourself. Now they feel kind of stuck. Yeah. Now they want to come in and apologize. Let's see, um, what do they want to say? Let's see what this person wants to say to you before we go, huh? What does this person want to say to the collective divine? What do they want to say to the collective? Ooh. What does this person want to say? To the person watching, what do they want to say? I know you are upset with me, and I'm upset with myself. They played themselves when they played you. I need my space right now. They're realizing, I feel, how wrong they really were. That, you know, they're learning this lesson. They're having to take a good, hard look at, at um, how they played you and what it cost them. Okay. Let's see what this is. I smile when I remember how you wanted nothing to do with me when we first met. You may have already, um, something in your intuition could have already told you something about this person being a player. I feel you leaving me behind. The sadness I feel for you is something I've never experienced before. I love you. Anyway, listen, person watching, that's what I've got for this reading. I hope this helps. I hope it resonates with you. Um, if you like this video, please click that like button. Subscribe to my channel. Help me grow, right? Yay. And until next time, everyone, take care of you. And peace out.